Today we're going to unbox uh, ammo can survival kit that I built myself really quickly whatever I had in my garage. I have a lot of things, most people probably will have to obtain most of these things. I did it as a promise, every time I bought an unbox survival kit that is already put together on Amazon or eBay, it's usually filled with a couple of good things and a lot of like very very cheap mass produced stuff that is not so usable. So I figured for that kind of money, like 200, 400 dollars, I could build my own survival kit and see what I got. I think I'm gonna call this car survival kit. So I'll stick it in a car in case we get stuck in a rural area without people. We need to hike for like three days to get back out uh, into the civilization so that way you can get helped and get picked up. Uh, so everything you need is in here. Let's see what I'm talking about. So as you can see I had a bunch of flares and these ones are shorties. Uh, it comes with the big bugs and they come in a bag already of three and I think it comes in 12 in a box. So I'll only put three in here. First of all it's still a flare but it is a shorty fire starter. Uh, if it's all wet and you gotta get fire going in the winter time and it's everything moist or in the snow this will help you start the fire much easier for three days as you can see or maybe you have to use couple to get fire going and warm up and of course you can use it as a signal um, next we'll need water I got right here a little filter usually whenever you buy a survival kit they don't take it out of the package they have to keep it in the package and it takes up a lot of space so you want to build your own survival kit and you want to stuff it with a bunch of stuff. So this is a mini water filter and as you can see put it in the water bottle. Around where I live in North Carolina there's plenty of streams that you can use water. It's a fresh water. Look at that. You can even put it in one of these water bottles. So that could be very useful and also I put uh, instruction inside of the ziplock bag and get rid of big plastic thing. In case you have to hike at night you might want to have a flashlight or like whatever. Flashlight a good idea, set up a camp, build the fire. And also I got extra batteries, I don't want a rechargeable because in case it dies I can just replace the batteries, not worry about the recharging. We're only there for like a few days. As you can see I chopped off extra spacing on the packaging so it doesn't take up space and weight. Then of course first aid. This is a simple first aid. As you can see it's not fully uh, packed. You can pack in even more stuff. I just did it quickly. Uh, one of these. And of course you can take everything out and use it as a water bottle. Also I have right here a sleeping bag, emergency, uh, reusable and one of those um, very skinny it's like foil kinds. They actually work really well. If you had to warm up even in the summertime in North Carolina it gets pretty chilly so it could be useful. Or you can even break it apart and use it at, as a top. That's actually a pretty nice uh, option. Also folding saw for the fire if you need to uh, cut up a bunch of firewood and get the fire going. That's actually a very powerful folding saw. It's called Pocket Boy by Silky. These things are around $50 and they are the best. By far, there's so many folding saws. Get yourself one of these. You might pay extra, but you know what? In survival station, money don't matter, right? So, I want to have the best of the best stuff. So, there you go. Obviously, we might want to have some wipes. This is biodegradable, hyper allergetic and whatever you put water on them they expand into the wipe compressed wipes I love these things so just a few for a few days that's it I don't need a giant bag because only a little bit then this is kind of cool it fits so perfectly like any kind of MRE this is like a civilian MRE XMRE you will have 1300 colors that's a lot of good stuff in here and it lasts for five to seven years you will have to replace it after so many years there is usually a date over here but yeah that's a good thing to have because you can snack on all of that so that's why I picked that that way we don't have to bring with us a boiling pot and warm it up uh, but we will need some kind of spoon and a fork 
So I bought with myself one of these um, kits. This is Gerber. Sometimes Gerber makes some cool stuff. There's a fork and a spoon, just in case. There's a stirrer. Um, it's kind of cool kit. Bottle opener, rope cutter. It all goes in here. I know, I have space. So why not get extra? There is other ones, just a spoon you can... Then I got right here, this brand, Purification Tablets. Why not? Doesn't take a lot of space in case your uh, filter gets clogged up or you can use both. Then a rope. This thing is actually pretty cool. This is 70 feet quick release rope. Ultimate testing, 1100 pounds. That's awesome. So you can double it up, a lot of rope in a tiny container. And look how easy it is to take out. I think it was in a shark. Not super cool and fancy, but whenever you want to replace it, take a new roll and put it in. And it is not like a power cord. It's kind of flat rope, but it is stronger than power cord 550. Because 550 is like, what, 550 pounds? Obviously, we'll need maybe a lighter to start the fire. And I got one of these lighters big lighter refillable make sure it's filled up all the way and i got a cover just in case so that way it's protected a little bit extra nice and the last thing we have a knife when we go hiking we're probably going to ditch the can inside of the car and leave it with the car or whatever um, and take all of these items together there's a little knife by more is burned. This is like hundred and twenty dollars. It's on sale for eighty dollars. I seen. This is a nice uh, knife, bushcrafting knife. So in case you have to build things, use it for bushcrafting anything. There's a lot of ideas you could use this knife. Very good stuff. And obviously very important. There's a knife sharpener built in over here. So that's nice. You keep your knife sharp. If your lighter fails, you have a fire starter right here sits in a super well and you'll just put it on your belt clip and hopefully you have cargo pants or whatever you can put all of that into your pockets or maybe some kind of sock maybe i should have included a little um, dry bag so i can put everything together into a dry bag and ditch the can because it's just too heavy to hike with and put everything in a dry bag and just go Let's see if I can find one. We'll need something like that, dry sack, uh, C2 salmon. I had much smaller one. So, let's see if it can fit all back together. That's really important. So first, I actually put MRE, that knife. And you know, it's cool, whenever you build your own survival kit, you kind of know how it goes because you put it all together. Okay, then we're gonna put it. And that's the idea of a survival kit. You have to play uh, with it, see what you can fit and what's worth doing it with you. Because I definitely want a uh, survival kit and this thing right here. Let's see if we can close it. The cool thing about with this ammo can is it holds it there super tight. So. During that video, I even improved this a little bit. So as you can see, you can come up with your survival kit way easier and you're actually going to pay uh, what you get versus getting a bunch of stuff that is really cheap you're not going to use that day. Just want to fill up the space. There you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see different sizes survival kits in different containers.